Ah, Scooby Doo. Never change, man. Dog. But anyway, yeah. Ah, with the rise of popularity of Scooby Doo getting new spin off shows, one for him before younger, younger kids with Scooby Doo and the Clues crew. Yeah, apparently Scooby Doo is going to train some younger pups. Who thankfully isn't scrappy. And, well, one for adults. Well, Velma's getting her adult alterated show. Where she's going to be involved in murder mysteries. It's kind of disturbing. And, well, going to hit your child right here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like the idea. But anyway, yeah, let's take a look at one of his movies, shall we? I know just the one, Cyber Chase. What is up guys, it's me Casey here with you Kids Movies and Kids Shows. And today we're going to take a look at Cyber Chase, in case you weren't paying attention to the prologue. But anyway, yeah. Uh, one of the films that were released where Scooby-Doo, on um, Zombie Island and a few other films, this one is, well, Scooby-Doo going to cyberspace. Hmm. Cyberspace. That's a little thing. Hmm. What ifs. This had a video release in 2001, and where we see Scooby and the crew, who, or mystery gang, whatever, are getting trapped in cyberspace by a, by a phantom virus. It's created by one of the a college students that, that a friend of theirs knows. Yeah, spoiler alert, it's one of the college students that a friend of theirs knows. Well, okay, Scooby Doo went in, Scooby and the gang went and see an old friend of theirs in a very important tech college place, and well, Hutchinson suit, of course. So, like I said before, Scooby Doo and the gang got sucked into a video game and a computer. Yeah, apparently back in those days you can make your own computer game. Is that the thing? Hmm. But anyway, it's a video game pretty much about the Scooby Doo gang. Themselves, yep. <laughs> Wait a minute. A Scooby-Doo video game? What a ridiculous idea. Oh, please. Scooby-Doo is like probably Hannah Barbera's one of the most remarkable characters. It's it right up there with Scrappy-Doo, Bugs Bunny, and many other characters Warner Brothers and Iron Maid. They have a few remarkable stuff and with our names of it like maybe pencils or computer games or uh, pretty much anything you can think of. <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. What well, I'm saying that. All companies do that with their remarkable characters. <sighs> Show business. Sometimes they just like to make themselves for money. And the Mystery Ink Gang even got to meet their in-game counterparts. Oh, so many meta references here. It's kind of weird. I still find it weird to this day. Huh. And if you're a hardcore Scooby-Doo fan like I am, you probably know at the end of the film, uh, we get introduced to the classic Scooby-Doo monster villains like Gator Ghoul, oh, the Tar Monster, the Iron Mask Marauder, uh, and Jack Water. Yeah, some sort of Leopard Panther thing in, in with a gorilla's body. Yeah, they went to South America once. They really travel our globe to solve mysteries. Hmm, guess the next restricted to just Coosville. And of course, the villain would have got away with it too if one of those meddling kids there, stupid dog. But anyway, 
that was a pretty fun and entertaining movie. I mean, it got some nostalgic vibes from the classic Scooby-Doo. Oh, we got the Scooby-Doo do what they do best in spite of being in cyberspace. And, well, they used their wits and their mystery solving ways to solve this case. And, and get through cyberspace, of course. And it's also a rating of a uh, 7 out of 10. It's not one of the Scooby-Doo's best films, but it's definitely one of the good ones. And, well, that's all the guys, and see you all next time. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt.